I'm going to show you how to connect Sublime Text to a Lever application running in the Live Code IDE. The goal is to be able to edit a Live Code script file in Sublime Text, and then when I save that file, to have the stack script in Live Code be updated. And so that allows me to do my editing in Sublime Text while still uh, working on my application in Live Code. So if you go to the GitHub page for the Live Code Sublime Text language module, there's a snippet here that we need to add to a project file in Sublime Text. So I'm just going to copy that. And then in Sublime Text, I'm going to use the File Open menu, which is on my other screen. But let's bring this over. So this is the File Open menu. I'm going to go into project that I've started working on. And here it is. So right now this is just a folder that I've opened in Sublime Text. It's not a project. And so what I'm going to do is turn it into a project by using the project menu and selecting Save Project As. And I will call this Clarify. And now I have a project file. And this is what the basic project file looks like. It has a folders and, and um, some folders configuration options, a path which points to uh, the current folder that the project's in. So I'm going to add some configuration options to that. I'm going to add a comma after folders and then paste that snippet that I copied from the GitHub page. I'm going to change the port number to 61373 because that's the default port that Lever uses. If you're working on multiple Lever applications, you'll want to use a different port for each one. Um, just keep that in mind. But for this one, we're going to, and you'd have to configure that both in your Sublime Text project and also in your Lever application. So I've changed that port, and now that'll tell Sublime Text where to, which server to notify. I'm also going to give this project a name because I want the name up here to change. So if I save, I had a comma there. If I save, you see that changes to clarify. I've now told it which. Uh, which port to notify. I'm going to do one other thing. I'm going to add, let's do that right here. I'm going to add a folder exclude pattern, patterns. What this is going to do is tell, this tells uh, Sublime Text not to search uh, some folders in my project. So Lever, uh, when I create a Lever application, I tell Lever to do a builds, to create a builds folder inside of my project folder. And so if I build a test standalone or if I build, package up an application for release or for beta testing, it's going to go in this builds folder. And I don't want, uh, I don't want Sublime Text to search that folder uh, when I'm doing searches and I just want it to not worry about it. So I'll add that to the project. So here's a project that's a little farther along and I've already configured the app.yml file and um, all the various scripts have, have been created. So let's look at how we can tell, uh, well, let's look at how this works. So the first thing you need to do is in the Live Code IDE, once you open an application, and I'll switch over to, here's uh, my app running in the Live Code IDE. When, uh, when I need to tell Lever to kind of turn on the server so that it's listening, um, it's listening for notifications that the file's been updated. So in the preload application message for my Lever app application, I add this little bit of code. It says, if the environment is development, so anytime this project is opened in the IDE, it says Lever load external editor server. So that is working now in, the, in my application, the IDE. So let's just see what happens. Here I have a handler called UI create new article. That is the handler that gets run when you click on this Create Article button. So right now you see it opens up a dialog and uh, gives the user some options. But let's change that. I'm, gonna, I'm in Sublime Text and I say Answer Hi, and then I'll exit to top. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to save that file. And once I've saved that file, Live Code was notified. And I click Create Article. I get the Hi dialog, and the other code is executed. So that's how you can get Sublime Text, a project in Sublime Text, to communicate with a Lever application running in the IDE.